Hello, everybody, and welcome to Mr. Tom Teaches Again. I'm Mr. Tom. You might remember that last time we were together, we talked about a shortcut on the hundreds chart, and that shortcut showed us how to add ones. Today, we're going to learn another shortcut, and this one is going to show us how to add tens on a hundreds chart. So let's get started. Let's quickly review what a hundreds chart is. Remember, it's a box divided into 100 little boxes numbered from 1 to 100. And remember, when we add on a hundreds chart, we always either go to the right or go down. So today we're going to take a look at two very simple number sentences. 6 plus 10 equals blank, and 57 plus 10 equals blank. Let's look at our first number sentence. 6 plus 10 equals blank. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to find 6 on our hundreds chart. Now, we could count up 10 one at a time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Notice we land on 16. But it's much easier for us to drop one row or one block down. If we drop one block down from 6, we land on 16. The exact same number that we landed on when we counted 10. Wow. So 6 plus 10 equals 16. Now let's take a look at our second number sentence, 57 plus 10 equals blank. Again, find 57 on our hundreds chart. Now, don't count up 10, no. just drop one row or one block directly underneath. We land on 67. We've just added 10. Wow. 57 plus 10 equals 67. So let's review. Remember, when we add on a hundreds chart, we go to the right or down. 6 plus 10 equals blank. Find 6 on our hundreds chart. Drop down directly below. We get 16. 6 plus 10 equals 16. And now our second number sentence. 57 plus 10 equals blank. We do the same thing. Find 57 on our hundreds chart. Drop down one block below. We land on 67. 57 plus 10 equals 67. And there you have it. Adding tens on a hundreds chart is really easy. Come back next time when we take a look at some subtraction shortcuts. Thank you for being here. I look forward to seeing you again. And remember, it never hurts to be nice. <laughs>